Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, March 1st, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and courses. The link is down below. You're very welcome to join. So we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. And as you can see, the last three days of last week's trading were an absolute beating for this uh, currency pair. We are down to the 20 exponential moving average right here at the 139328. Uh, and that is basically the middle here of the Bollinger Band. Whether or not we go further than this, well, that is uh, kind of likely at this point. If you look at technical indicators like the Stochastic, the MACD, also the CCI, the momentum is to the downside. So the 20 exponential, the 40 and the 50 have been major support in the past. So if we were to break the 20 exponential, we could go to the 40. That should, could also be supported. And if that breaks, then we have the 50 underneath. And that has been major support all the way back to the, the beginning of November last year. So this will most likely break the 20. That is highly likely. If we break the 20, then we'll go to the 40 and the 50 and most likely turn around at that point. So, so technically, indicators, they are um, to the downside or momentum is to the downside. So that is more likely at this point. So US dollar, your Japanese yen. And as you can see, we are trading above the 300 moving average. And it looks like we have completely changed direction in this currency bear. We were in a major downtrend all the way back to since March last year and to uh, the beginning of January, where this basically took off to the upside. We are making higher lows, and that is an indication that we are going higher in this currency pair. We are making technically a channel here. It looks similar to uh, this, where we have lows and highs, and at this point, it looks like we are about to trend higher. It doesn't mean that we cannot break below the um, 300 moving average again, but you see that the 20 exponential is moving this way at this channel, and it's most likely when we hit the 20 that it will rally back towards the top of this channel. So yes, we are an uptrend. However, we are significantly overstretched here. We are significantly overbought. So it is probably just a matter of time before we turn around here and head back towards the bottom of this channel. So at this point, actually pullbacks are buying opportunities. So Euro US dollar, as you can see, this absolutely collapsed on on Tuesday, uh, Thursday, I'm sorry, and Friday, and we're trading at the 1207 at this current stage. It is probably likely at this point that we're going towards the bottom of the Bollinger Band, which is exactly at 1200. So just above the 150 moving average, which was major support in uh, only like three weeks ago. And We'll most likely find support there and then rally back towards the 50 moving average. We are technically trading sideways. We have been trading in this uh, range now for quite some time. We can go all the way back to um, mid January. We have been trading within this range, and the 50 has proven to be really difficult to break out from, and the 150, uh, 150 has proven to be major support. So until we basically start trending above the 50 moving average or break significantly below these two moving averages, the 200 and 150, there is, well, not a lot of room to trade here. It will basically be a massive gamble at this point. Technical indicators, they are, the momentum is to the downside at this currency. So it's very likely that we'll continue towards uh, 1200. So Aussie dollar, US dollar, we we basically reached our target here at 0 0.8 and then it just collapsed. We are down roughly, well, give or take, we're down roughly 3.7% at this point from the previous highs. And yes, there is still room to the downside. We can see here, we could go all the way down to the bottom of the bullish band at 0 0.76 and there we'll most likely rally. So that is also the previous lows here where we most likely will turn around. So down here, and then we'll probably rally from, from there. We have the 100 moving average right underneath. Technical indicators are still extremely uh, bearish. So momentum is to the downside. So it's probably gonna take two, three 
uh, trading days before we get down towards this level and then turn around back to the upside. If you were to break the 100 moving average, that opens the door to the 150, all the way down to 0 0.74. So US dollar, Canadian dollar, same here. Um, I think I mentioned on Wednesday that we were most likely going to see a rally up towards the 20. We did see that on Thursday. And then it continued to rally all the way above the 50 moving average. So at this point, 150 will most likely be the target here. That will be the top of the Bollinger Band. We will be on the significantly, uh, be, be near overbought. And um, yes, these second indicators, they are very bullish at this point. So momentum is to the upside. We are still in a downtrend. So we're still on the new zero here in the MACD, but it is crossing the signal line. So in this downtrend, we are going to see this rally, but these rallies will most likely be sold into. So getting close to the 150 um, moving average, that is going to be um, a lot of selling pressure that's going to occur at that point. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our new studios, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.